Hi everyone, let's talk about Thales' theorem in geometry. What we're going to be proving is that if A, B, and C are points on a circle, then we have the following biconditional result that angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees if and only if AB is a diameter. Now don't worry, I'm going to be showing diagrams really soon. We just need diagrams separately for the two directions, one for the right direction and one for the left direction. So let's do the left direction first. So suppose AB is a diameter. So the diagram will look something like this. We've got a diameter AB and we've got a point C up here. So A, B, and C. And we're going to be adding the midpoint of AB, which is the center of the circle O. And importantly, we're also going to be drawing this line segment from O to C. So what I want you to notice is that AO, BO, and CO are all radii, so they have the same length. And as a result, we have two isosceles triangles, AOC and BOC. They're both isosceles. That means that this angle and this angle are the same. And this angle and this angle are the same. That allows us to make a certain computation that's going to be handy right now. So we, remember, we want to show that what we want is that angle ACB is 90 degrees. So let's start with that. Angle ACB is equal to by splitting the angle we get its angle ACO plus angle BCO and that is equal to because we have isosceles triangles that's equal to 180 degrees minus angle AOC over 2 because ACO is the same as OAC and BCO is 180 degrees minus B angle BOC over 2 because BCO is the same as o OBC. And this is then equal to 180 degrees minus angle AOC plus angle BOC over 2. And if you look at angle AOC and BOC, together they're 180 degrees. So this is just 180 degrees minus 180 degrees over 2, which is equal to 90 degrees. So that proves the first direction, that angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees. Let's prove the second direction now. The second direction starts with the assumption that angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees. What we want is that AB is a diameter and our strategy will be to show that angle AOB is straight. So we just want to show that angle AOB is 180 degrees. Let's draw a diagram. We've got O in the center of the circle. We've got C up here as usual. And let's say A and B are down here, although 
really in the end we're going to end up showing that a and b are are endpoints of a diameter so again we're going to draw the radii and note that they all have the same length and what we want is angle angle AOB but we're just gonna write it for now as angle AOC plus angle BOC so angle AOC is up here and BOC is here so that is equal to because we have isosceles triangles it's equal to 180 degrees minus 2 times angle ACO so ACO is over here let me give a different let's say it's ACO just like that so that's AOC and BOC is 180 degrees minus 2 times angle BCO so BCO is up here so I've, I've given two color dots for that so that's equal to 360 degrees minus 2 times angle ACO plus angle BCO and ACO plus BCO is equal to two times ACO plus BCO is equal to ACB the angle that we have up here in our assumption and that's equal to 360 degrees let me put it on a new line 360 degrees minus two times 90 degrees and that's just equal to 180 degrees so AB does lie on a diameter because angle AOB is a straight angle so that proves the second direction thank you for watching and I'll see you next time